Good morning. <laughs> Another day in um, isolation. <laughs> um, make sure to go online for different things. You know, if you're if you're feeling anxious or if you're feeling, you know, we're in Canada. We have a Canadian Mental Health Association. They have lots of good tips. Um, if you're in a place like us where we can go outside for a walk and still be isolated then you know do that get some fresh air get some sun on you um you know we got to do our best that we can otherwise just consider this a reset a time to reconnect with family um you know a time to to be real um so i was up in the night i couldn't sleep honestly thinking about these readings <laughs> um you know, I don't have a lot of viewers, and, and but the ones I do, you know what, because the cards come out, and you get very, I get very invested in what's going on with people, and you know, I realize that the readings are really general, so, um, you know, and there has been kind of an ongoing story going on. Mm -hmm. So I just want to put it out there, I do put it in the description, but I know that nobody reads that, that um, if this resonates with you, uh, put something in the comments section and I will do, I will give you a three card or so confirmation or, you know, and I'll do that for free. I mean, I'm trying to build my channel, but I'll, you know, I really care about people, what's going on in their lives. So, um, you know. I'm just kind of shuffling these cards. It's like, you know, because the characters that we have that could be watching, right? They could be divine masculines. They could be divine feminines. They could be, um, you know, people who are single that are in love with somebody that doesn't know. They could be for married couples. They could be for people that are in long-term relationships and now they're sitting, looking at each other and... Uh, they're not ready to break up, but they've disconnected and need some guidance. So I really want these readings to be not just click worthy, but to really, you know, give you some guidance. That being said, remember the tarot cards, like don't make any huge life decisions based on tarot card reader. But also, I mean, if you got extra time, check out uh, like lots of tarot card readers. The ones that you're drawn to are the ones that you're meant to hear. Um, and if it's not resonating with you, then just move on. Um, but I'm noticing that a lot of us are, uh, our messages are kind of the same right now. Um, I really feel like this is a time of transition. So what's going on in the collective? These are the um, Earth Magic Oral card, Oracle cards from Stephen D. Farmer. They're a Hay House cards. I love Hay House. Okay. Milky Way perspective. Come on, focus. Yeah, I did something weird with the there. focus button on here when I was sitting up. So we need to get some perspective on things or our perspectives have changed. Grounding's on the bottom. Spirit's telling me to take it. Okay. All right. So we need to ground. We need to get some perspective. Okay. You know what? It takes a lot of time sometimes to do these shufflings, but I feel like... Um, Oh, I just put that one back and now I'm not sure. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm pretty disobedient with my spirits and then they kind of give me heck. But I mean, if things are meant, if they really want a certain card to come out, it will come out. We all know that. So what's going on with the collective? What's going on with the men, with the masculines, with the feminines, with all kinds of different situations? Um... What's going on in the collective? Let's have one more card. That one. Oh, 
interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, wow. Okay. So, you know what is interesting is that these are kind of like, um, I'm just going to move this camera. I hate to do this because, I mean, it doesn't seem very professional, but I just want you all to see that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, I mean, I'm, I don't have a ton of you viewers anyway, so, <laughs> but, um, it's, the Oracle cards kind of to set the mood for what we're going to do here is it's, it says that this is the time to get perspective on things and to ground and I've been saying this to my clients and to y'all and and to you know my kid and it's time because we're all up in our head and our energy is all swirling and people are like doing this panic thing and it's you know, we really need to get our energy down and, you know, what maybe and now that we're kind of stuck with each other, <laughs> um, we can't avoid, this is a time now that like our perspective, like we can't avoid what's going on in our lives. We need to take a good hard look at it because we're stuck in it. You know, if you're having an issue in your family, you can't run away to work. Right? Like, yeah, you, you can't. Um, you know, and then comes innocence and new beginnings. Keeping in mind, you know, lots of times these readings are talking about breakups. Um, but, you know, new beginnings might be refreshment, reset within a relationship, right? Like if, if you're listening to this and you're in a relationship that maybe it's not like hot anymore or whatever or you know you just kind of feel like you've taken you know you've both been working so hard and, and and you've disconnected this might be a time for you to really get some perspective on that to ground you know and to find that childhood innocence now this card here is actually just now spirit said to me that's a lot like that six of cups card okay and new beginning I'm just going to take a quick look at what this says for childhood here. So, yeah, encouraging us to explore the natural world. In their exploration of the world, it's inevitable that these children will at some point lose their original innocence. It doesn't have to be a permanent loss, however. We need to live in a constant fear of... We don't need to live in constant fear or anticipation of such an event. So, I mean, it's kind of saying, like, to keep, like, you know, to regain this childhood innocence, right? Like... You know, a lot of us might find ourselves going out with our kids and, you know, playing some hockey on the pond and we never did that before or getting the skidoo out. And I saw, you know, some families out with their skidoos and kids in the sleigh behind like we used to do when we were kids and, you know, doing all. Okay, there's a song. Find the time. It's a song. One, two, fun. Gary Chapin Carpenter, right? Do, 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 do. Oh, time in a, oh no, Jim Crowley, time in a bottle. Time in a bottle. Uh, check that out. And out pops the King of Cups. Oh no, the Knight of Cups. Somebody's wanting to make an offer. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put these over here. Sorry, my hand that looks enormous in the camera when I do that. And you know what? Like, I've been kind of rushing through these. And, you know, I kind of, um, I don't know. Like, I don't need to be time conscious. Spirit says, you know, quit, quit that. And on the bottom is a moon card, and they say to take it. So, okay. 
So for um, some of you who are watching this, um, it's really interesting because last night I was thinking, you know, I never, like, what comes out in the cards never applies to single people. So let's see if that's what comes out today because we start off with a Knight of Cups and the Moon card. Now this, um, and here's a shout, shout out to the Italians <laughs> um, that have really been going through it. Like we think we've got it bad here. My neighbors are from Italy. They're recent immigrants from Italy. And I mean, they're just wild with horror of what's going on in their homeland. And luckily their own families are okay, but every day is pictures of caskets and whatnot. So we need to kind of get real here too. But this is the um, Tarot Grand Deluxe by Ciro Mar Marchetti. Ciro Marchetti. So um, in this moon card, those are two different dogs, <laughs> right? I don't know what's going on with this focus thing, but... Um, so, and a lobster. And that lobster's always there. The window's broken. I mean, the moon card traditionally is... Isn't this beautiful? Because it's so, like, Italian, right? Like, it's absolutely stunning, this card. Um, this is where it's focused. Um, it's almost like one's a wolf and one is a German shepherd. So one is wild and one is domesticated. The moon card usually means that there's things that have been hidden that are going to be revealed. It's also a very powerful feminine energy. Masculine energy is the sun. Feminine energy is the moon. I've said this so many times, but here in First Nations culture, moon time is like that relates to women. And it, it's a time when women are extremely strong. And we just finished a super moon um, as we really wound up into the COVID-19 horror. Um Okay, and Spirit says, watch what you manifest right now. Watch what you think about. Don't let panic take you over. Uh, think about love. <laughs> think about love. Is that ever sweet? Like this. Yeah. Um, also, you know what I did with this deck? Instead of shuffling it before I went on camera, I just took them and spread them out and just like moved them all over the place. I don't normally read reversals. But Spirit told me to last night, I might not always take them as reversals. We'll see how they resonate with me as I'm doing the reading. Um, but yeah, right now we have somebody wants to come in uh, with an offer. Um, but he's watching. Not sure. Oops. Not sure if he's ready. Not sure. And the devil pops up. Not sure if he's ready. Um, maybe he's waiting to see what the moon reveals. And then we have the devil card. And this is quite a grim card. Of course, devil card um, usually refers to addictions, to bondage, to... Something holding you back. Something holding you captive. In this card, the sword is upright. The, the sword is upright. The coin is, I mean, dangling there. Oh, he's holding the, the talismans and the cup and the wand are upside down. Can you see that clearly? And notice um, the masculine and the feminine are actually bound, bound to each other. That's interesting. 
I think we've got a segue. What's he? Because it, while I was shuffling, I was asking like, what's he waiting for? The night, right? Because he is not presenting his cup. He is. I'm just going to look up this night. Nine. Because yeah, the romantic night. He is out through piercing blue eyes. He is dreamy because I was looking at that. It's like, oh, he's dreamy. And then in the book, it said, oh, isn't he dreamy? It's like, yes, he is. Yes, sir, he is. Um, he's dreamy, sensitive, and refined, but can be rash. So he um, he's more likely to act from inner emotions than practical external factors. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to look up this devil. Okay, so all those, the, the cups, the wand, the pentacle, and the sword, they're all hanging upside down in this picture. Golden trinkets hanging upside down from his hand provide a means of showing the pentacle in its uh, pentagram form. I've also included a Marseille-based reference to the bondage that would result should we accept the devil's offer of bling. His multicolored alibi grotesque headdress indicates a connection to the fool. Yes, okay. Another little detail I added is the attempted. Okay. Um, so in, in this deck, the devil is illusions. Um, could it be that the knight, see there's bondage here too, right? Because the canines are chained. So there's two cards that include bondage here, trinkets. Let's get some good old clarification on this devil card here. What's going on? Or on the three, I mean, what's going on? Um... So that is two major arcana cards in our arcana cards in a row. Um, okay, <laughs> what's going on here with the collective? Whoa. Interesting. So they said to take it upside down. The Nine of Wands. I mean, these cards are just so beautiful. Uh, is, you know, uh, Nine of Wands is somebody who's been in a battle. No, I'm going to take it up, right? The Nine of Wands, oh, this might relate to our Knight here. Or that the Nine of Wands refers to somebody who's been in a battle. Oh, no, it says, no, take it. Um, who's been in a battle, like who's been through it, and he survived. And he comes back, and, and you know, he survived it, and he's learned lessons from it. But he, um, you know, he's a little scarred. You know, he might have some PTSD. <laughs> um Okay, um, mm -hmm. and because then we also get the five of coins. But in this, this is different because, I mean, this this artist has a much different perspective, right? And this card is almost, I mean, because I asked, like, what's going on here? Okay. Oh, okay. 
I love how they just tell me this is the night energy. He's come back from battle. He's he's tired and he, you know, he's been working really hard. He's a knight, and he's not poor, but he's not sure he has enough to make an offer to anybody. Um, so I mean, knight, the knight guy here is is a little bit has some low self esteem issues. He's not sure. I'm really interested in this devil card though. This is the second time the Ten of Cups has shown itself on the bottom of that deck. Oh, Magician. Okay, so, I mean, again, I didn't even hardly shuffle. I'm a Magician because I'm trying to clarify the Devil. And then we get ma Magician, which is another Arcana card. Major Arcana card. I mean, there's so much going on in these cards. I'm just looking at the symbols here. Let's see if there's more clarification on this devil card. What's going on here for this knight and this devil card? <clears throat> this could be a single person. Um, as we know, as we know more and more, I mean, this is a guy in this, but as we know more and more, as they're digging up graves and whatnot, especially with Vikings, that some of their greatest warriors and, and their leaders were women. Right? So... Uh, this doesn't eat in it. Chariot came upside down. Okay, like the major arcana cards are nuts here. Um, there's something else. There's something else. Whoa. Competition. Okay. I was just thinking about Vikings too, and these came out, and the de and Spirit just said to me competition. So I I asked to clarify this devil card, right? And to clarify it, I got the magician, the chariot reversed, and the knight of swords. And Spirit immediately said to me, he's holding back. Because there's competition here. And yep. Yeah. Um these two both have birds of prey. And both owls and eagles are spiritual, very spiritual animals. They're also uh, message givers in the spirit world. Chariot is reversed. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just going to look up this magician here. I mean, we all have these different decks, right? We can't possibly memorize them all. So you have to be patient with us while we quickly look. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's see. Who's the feminine in this? Uh, who, who, who are they fighting? Who, who's in between this? <laughs> okay. So interesting. Who's in between us? Now comes the five of swords. Okay. Um. Okay. What else? What's going on? Is there a feminine energy in this? <laughs> um. I had a feeling that this reading. Did you see that just fly? Wheel. Okay, what else? 
Okay, I think we've got another story starting on here. Okay, so like... Oh. I'm just... Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just going to get some here and see the story. You know how they say in the news, the story is developing. There's kind of a sense of urgency here. What's going on? Okay, who's ever reading this? Like, you're... Um, what's going on for the collective? Like, what's going on here? Um, okay, so, right, if you're watching this, you've been told you need to get some perspective on your situation and really ground yourself. <sighs> right? You need to find your childhood innocence and think about new beginnings. I believe that you like you are this night energy and you have this cup um, and it's full of good things. Um, Spirit just said to me, benevolent and kind. But you know, you're worried about what's going on in the background. You are... I mean, the moon is, is feminine energy, and this moon is just beautiful. It's just golden. And, you know, there's the bondage. Like, these two want to be together, but there's a river between them, right? And then to clarify that, we got the devil. And then to clarify the devil, we got the magician reversed to chariot and the knight of swords. You know, so this, this you are wanting to make an offer to somebody, but you don't feel like you've had quite enough. You've really been through it. Like you've really been through it, and you just don't feel like you have enough pentacles. But this card is also, and the Spirit just confirmed, this card is also implying that um, the universe has your back. See, the sun's shining behind you. Like, don't worry about the pentacles. Whoever you're thinking about, to her, pentacles might not be what she is looking for. Your competition, what's holding you back too is this, this guy is here. He, he's not moving forward either. He's very determined. He may be the spouse of the person that you're, that you're thinking of or the, you know, the partner, the current partner of this person. Um, so then what I got is five of swords, the, the wheel of fortune, the eight of cups moving on and a reversed, um, wands. Because what I was... Okay, because when I, I shuffled for those cards, what I was asking for is what's going on with the person, with your person, right? This person that you're interested in. She's fighting her own battles, right? And she doesn't know what to do. She's fighting her own battles. And, okay, let's see. Oh, and there she is. <laughs> there she is. She's a high priestess. And there's the owl. Okay, so that makes sense because they were telling me this magician isn't necessarily to clarify the devil, it's to clarify the moon. Um, oh, okay. This is a very, has a very medieval kind of vibe to it, right? And so this knight doesn't think he's got enough pentacles. He's bone-ass tired. He's got PTSD or whatever, right? He's been away fighting the good fight. And he comes home and he doesn't have a bunch of riches. But he really wants you. But you are in a relationship with this guy. And he is handsome too. But don't fuck around <laughs> this guy, right? Um... But they're stagnant here. 
Oh, okay. Spirit just said she's trapped. That's what the devil is. She's trapped in a relationship. She's feeling trapped in a relationship with this guy. So uh, you are looking for magic. You're looking for magic. And the, the owl, there's an owl here and an owl in the high priestess card. But right now she's a little bit stuck. She... Just gonna quickly see what the Five of Swords says here. Okay, no, <clears throat> that's why they had me check. They'll correct me, right? So sh she is leaving this guy, or she has decided. She's fought the battle. And with the winner takes the spoils. Oh, and see, he came back from battle too. So she's got three swords. There's two knights. One's down and one's getting up, but he's tired. Um, things happen kind of quickly. Um, oh, no, notice the moons in the ten. We're in the Wheel of Fortune cup. Wheel of Fortune card. So under that full moon energy, she was able, her magic and his magic work together, so she's able to cross over. Now this wands is upside down. Um, so she's not quite ready to um, make a new start. I think she might be licking her wounds. Um, I just want to see what's going on. So then what's the energy with this guy? <laughs> right? Because lots of times in the reading so far, um, uh, it's a, you were the masculine and it's a woman, like that you're leaving your relationship. But in this one, it's the feminine is leaving her relationship. And she's leaving this guy. This guy may be abusive. Um, narcissistic and cruel. <laughs> he may have been a really good provider, but not the best. He's a knight. He's not a king. And he's not an emperor. <sighs> okay, let's get some clarification on this guy. How much time are we at? See, this is going to be a longer reading, but I don't care. I mean, I got like 15 subscribers, and remember if this is resonating with you to leave a message in the thing and um and uh you know i'll do a, a three card spread for you to get a little bit of clarification maybe more depending right a minimum of th three cards um for free right i'm just starting out and I, I really am invested in how things are going for you at this point because this is a totally different reading i knew i was up all night for for a reason um Okay, what's going on with this Nine of Swords? Come on, Tarot. Okay, oh, oh. Justice. Karma is come. Notice how Justice is often in the traditional deck. Kind of really passive, right? And Justice is really can be a nice card there's a pen and a sword there it's a woman delivering justice she's wearing red spirit just said to me okay red is the color of your red chakra your sacral chakra. To me, this this guy fucks around. He he fucks around. Karma's coming. Karma's coming for him. There's a reverse eight of coins at the bottom of the deck. I'm just gonna see if that one resonates. The sun started shining. That helps. Oh yeah. <laughs> Internal conflict. 
So it seems like for the, this night, the shit is kind of hitting the fan all of a sudden. What else is going on? I'm, I'm curious to see if a tower or a death comes here. Nope. And then the Eight of Wands. Things have happened quickly. Um, you know how sometimes it seems like nothing happens, nothing happens, and people don't get their comeuppance. They just don't. And you're like, jeez. Like, and then all of a sudden, the shit hits the fan, right? So... <laughs> Okay, so then, like, we're clarifying this Knight of Swords, and we get the Ten of Swords. He's done. Hello, Judgment. So, don't think you need to worry about him too much. Um, he's done. Okay, Knight of Cups. Um, your person, to, Spirit just says, this isn't necessarily like magic, like you haven't gone to see a witch or you haven't like, you know, had spells put on anybody necessarily. It, it, it is saying to me that you've been praying. You've been praying not just that you would be able to have this woman, but you've been praying for her because you've been worried about her. Because you're a really good guy. There's a page of, of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We'll see if he comes out. Okay, so what's the outcome for you, handsome knights? <laughs> Queen of coins. What's the outcome? She's your queen. Are you going to... What's your... What's... What are you going to do? Knight of Cups. See, I get so invested in this now. This one popped up. It says you wanted to hang around. Okay? She came up first. We've got the hanging man. There's a lot of greenery here, which talks about the greenery of this um, innocence heart this is like an innocent love like maybe maybe she was somebody that you've loved since you were a little boy okay new beginning okay oh this is such a lovely reading oh okay empress just popped herself out and then pushed herself back in so we'll just see Okay, Queen of Cups. How many queens have we got here? And how about you? <gasps> I said, how about you? Out pops the lovers. <sighs> Spirit says to me, you might think that you, that this woman... I mean, look at how she's manifested herself. She's a warrior. She is... <sighs> okay, I'm going to... Okay. I'm just going to... Um, so... It's so funny how these work. Okay, she... You think that maybe she wants pentacles. But she doesn't. She wants loyalty. She wants love. She wants a best friend. She wants somebody that she can trust and talk to and feel safe with. And so here we are, right? And so I got this. And while I was shuffling, I got this. So you've leveled up. And look at the greenery. It's new beginnings. Queen of Cups. I'm just going to see if there's one more comes out. Whoa. Yeah. 
No, that's Page of Wands, New Beginnings. So you might be starting something fresh. Oh, and there we go. Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness. This is all she ever wanted. And you too. You're so tired. You just wanted to rest. And you've both been battling. Look at the cat. Right? And you got your cups and a nice warm fire. And you're self-isolating with the love of your life. So. Oh, that was lovely. So again, you know, if this resonates with you and you want a little bit of confirmation, then um, you know, send me a message and I'll figure something out. Okay, I'm new to this. So uh, also like, subscribe, share. All that thing I'm trying to grow my channel. Love you.